Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Worship Gunner 2. Last time we defeated the first super weapon, uh, the super battleship Whirlwind that was really fast. But we did really good because we have a battleship with a ridiculous amount of guns. So now we're going to start off by doing some R&D. And if I can remember to, I'm going to go add two boilers to my battleship that I keep forgetting to do. So we're going to just take battleship tier... One, we're not going to research any new battleships because we don't really need to. We just need this. That's also cheaper than it was before. I wonder why that is. I don't know. But we're going to take that. And now that we have that, we can go back to our artillery, main, and 28 centimeter guns. Aha! So let's get these. And shoot, might as well go for the whole thing, huh? Let's do that and that and that. And we're basically out of money, so that's that. Now, I need to go add two boilers to my battleship. Change design, yes. Um, I'll talk about it in a second. I was going to mention the fact that we start off with a submarine, but I will talk about that in just a moment because uh, that is not relevant to this. And there we go. Now I have two more boilers. We're going about, what, 1.9 knots faster? So that's pretty good. Okay, submarines. They give you the first submarine. Um, it's the submarine that Commander Brown was on when we rescued her. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. I don't think I'm going to be able to change much, but we'll take a look at it anyways. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I want to remove these, and I want to add this. Because this is bigger and better. And I'm only going to put one of them. I'm not going to try and have two. There's no point, really. And we're going to put that there and then move those out of the way, maybe. Okay, we'll go back with it. Like that. <clears throat> I'm going to bump this forward. And then bump these forward. And then we're going to move that back. Yeah, move this back, I guess. Well, it doesn't really matter, huh? Nope. So this is our torpedo launcher right here. Um... Let's talk about the notation of the title. So you can see it says UWW, and then TUR. UWW means underwater weapon, so it can be used on a submarine while it is submerged, which is nice. TUR is short for turret, so we have a wider firing arc for our torpedoes than just, like, straightforward. So they can fire pretty much out, like, this way, if you can see where my cross area is, and then out this way a little bit, so we have a much wider firing arc with this turret version. Now, I want to see if we can replace this with anything. I don't know if we picked up any special ones that we could use. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, these here are anti-mine torpedoes, so normally how you deal with mines is with machine guns, but machine guns can't be used if you're submerged. These can. So if you see mines in front of you, just launch a few of these downrange, and it'll take care of the mines without you having to surface. Which, you know, for a submarine is very risky, and you don't want to do it. Um, let's see, anti-mine torpedoes, yep, that's what I just went over. Let's replace these with big machine guns, like that. And then let's, uh, let's see, structures, Got enough searchlights and everything. Okay, systems, here we go, we can add some stuff here. So, let's add firing delay, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's not going to be terribly useful, because uh, we're not going to be using that cannon a whole lot. We don't need auto countermeasures. We should probably take the mine detector. And, uh, let's see. Defense. Fire extinguisher. Steering. We already have a forward thruster. I think I'm good in that regard. Um... Armor. Don't need a whole lot of armor. That's actually a lot more armor than I would have put on there, but we'll leave it. It's fine. Weapons. Am I done? Oh, I want to try and upgrade the engines. Uh, doesn't look like we can. Nope. Okay. We're done. That's it. So I modified the sub a little bit. I pretty much just made a... I put a bigger cannon on it, and I made the machine guns bigger. <clears throat> and added a couple systems. So let's go ahead and raid the enemy port with our submarine. And we're going to skip the tutorial, like I said before, because it's pretty simple, and I'm going to be explaining it anyways. Uh, 
and skip. Now let's see if I can remember the controls. The tutorial, like, it's useful and it's good information, but it just takes forever. So... Control ships, yep, okay. So, yeah, R2 makes you go higher, L2 makes you go lower. You can go as deep down as, it, I think it's 300. And this is pretty much emergency depth right here. So the point of this is you can't fire any of your weapons, not even your torpedoes. But um, generally, things like depth charges and stuff can't get that deep to hit you. Now the sweet spot here, if you see on the, on the right hand side there, the depth, um, there's like a shorter section that we're kind of on the edge of right now. If we're within that area, we can pick up crates and stuff. Um, so if also if we're within that area we can zoom in and kind of use the periscope and then we can sight targets like so and fire at these transports with our torpedoes and uh, everything else is pretty much the same oh and submarines cannot use um, engagement mode even when they're surfaced submarines cannot use engagement mode because L2 just makes you dive again so uh, submarines also move a lot slower underwater. I think it's roughly a third of your top speed when you're underwater. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So we're gonna head off in that direction. I'm actually gonna stay surfaced for a while here just to move a little quicker. Um, there is an airfield right there. So there are some planes flying around. It doesn't really matter if you get detected. Uh, it doesn't make any difference really, so. These um, submarine missions, I don't mind them, but they, they are generally much longer missions because they just, you know, you move so slowly in a submarine. This, this is one of the easiest missions in the game, but it just takes forever because of, you know, you're in a submarine, so. Boy, that firing delay, huh? Yeah, really uh, didn't help too much, but we got the airbase, so that's good. Group of enemy ships in front of us, just more transports, so let's, uh, let's just use the cannons. You know? There we go. Got him. Those who should stop moving now. I can't seem to flick over to the other transport. Repair kit, repair kit. Repair kits, you know, they're obviously, they have their usefulness, but even if you don't, wow, we got three of them too. Um, even if you don't plan on using them, um, even if you don't plan on using them, you should still pick them up because any leftover repair kits you have at the end of a mission uh, they're a thousand points each towards your towards your rank, so that's pretty handy. Basically, get over here and then surface quickly enough to get the survivors, and then submerge again because we've got turrets shooting at us. So yeah, getting detected is not it doesn't really matter, but you want to stay submerged for pretty much at this point you want to go under and stay under because there are going to be batteries shooting at you. I want to stay in that sweet spot. Whoop, little far into the sweet spot. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. Um, and you can see, okay, it's half speed apparently when you're submerged. It's, it's half speed. So we're moving a lot slower. Even with the forward thrust we're still top capping out at like 15 point something knots. So not great. This is why uh, people tend to not like the submarine missions so much because you just move so slowly and it takes forever to do anything. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna surface and if I get hit a little bit, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So. actually shoot back at these batteries. Multiple weak responses on sonar. I had to sneeze there, so I decided uh, to mute the microphone. Battery, 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 battery. Let's shoot it. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Kill it. Our machine guns, yep. So, 
you can see the mines on our local radar, and that's because we have the mine detection system. Um, actually, it seems like they're on the minimap too. You can see there's a lot of those. We're going to use, the machine guns are taking their sweet time, so we're going to use the anti-mine torpedoes here, which uh, if we had to, we could use them submerged, but I mean, we're on the surface right now, so we might as well just use them on the surface. Now we're going to dive again, because we're close to the objective, and we don't want the ships, once they start moving around, we don't want the ships to be using their surface cannons against us, because they are going to hurt, unlike the, uh, the little batteries that are around. So you can see the angle on these um, anti-mine torpedoes is very limited, especially when you compare it to like our uh, our uh, tur turret torpedoes. Anti-sub netting. Yep, we went the correct way around the island. You yeah, if you want to avoid that netting and not have to worry about it, go around uh, the south side of the island and it shouldn't be an issue. So. Seems like we got most of the mines there. Let's stop, switch to these torpedoes, whoops, and here we go. Let's actually move forward a little bit here because they're not going to move uh, until we do something about it. Enemy sonar detected. We appear to have been picked up. Start attacking these ships in the bay before they move out. Yep. Working on it. So now we're just going to keep on firing like a maniac. Depth charge nope, here come the depth charges. I don't know how they got over here so quickly with those depth charges, but, uh, you know. See, we can almost fire these torpedoes to the broadside, which is pretty impressive. Um, considering they're mounted on the front. And generally, with, you know, real submarines, they have to fire forward. So, we've already done the mission, but we're going to stick around and kill everything else and get the treasure. So, yeah. Go back. We need to kill things. Let's see, we can even fire them a little bit backwards. So, this turret torpedo launcher is really helpful. Enemy sonar All hands to Mines, by the way, if you're in a submarine, mines hurt, so make sure you don't run into those. Um, they do hurt a lot in this mission, so make sure you avoid those at all costs. Let's just keep firing at all of these cruisers and everything else here. Just gonna keep firing torpedoes like a maniac. There's another one over there, and got him, and there's one over here, missed, missed, oh no, nope, got him, never mind, and another cruiser, got him. Okay, now we can surface, get some survivors, get some, uh, well, survivors pretty much is the only thing we need to surface for. Well, I don't want to go get those guys though, because they're all the way back there, and there's a parts crate over here that I kind of want, so... We're gonna get the parts crate, and then if the survivors are still alive, we'll go get them. Actually, no, we won't, because we need to keep going this way to get the transport that's hiding out back here. Hi, transport. Let's kill him. Well, maybe. He does not have our treasure. Our treasure is an underwater base, so. And we will be getting that momentarily. This is the part where I wish submarines had uh, auto-engagement mode, because I'd be blowing up everything right now with auto-engagement mode if I had it. Not because I have to. None of this counts towards the destroyed percentage of our mission ranking, but I just like blowing things up. It's just fun. Alright, now we're going to turn around. We cannot go out that way, because as you can see, there is more anti-sub netting, but our treasure is on the other side of that anti-sub netting, so we have to go out and all the way around. Which is fine, because we also, as a side objective, need to sink three enemy submarines, and what do you know, there's three enemy submarines, you know, 
right outside of where our treasure is, our secret base that we need if we go find. So, works out. Up to this point, I have not researched, like, anything for submarines, which is why I couldn't really make much of an adjustment to this thing. Um, but there are guided torpedoes you can get pretty early on, actually, for submarines. Um, so, those could be nice. I just, I really wanted to focus down uh, battleships, you know, so... So, hitting enemy submarines with uh, unguided torpedoes is not usually very easy, but we have to try. There we go, we got one. Drop anything? Health. Meh. So we need to go over here and try to hit this one now. Thankfully, they don't usually change their depth, which is the main thing that would kind of make this difficult, but they seem to stay at a pretty consistent depth most, most of the time, so... Yeah, that um, number next to the distance is the depth. It says D60 whatever. I think it said D66. That is the depth. So, And our secret base. I'll dive so we can get a better uh, look at it. There it is. That is our secret base that we need to blow up. So we're going to just lob some torpedoes over there. This treasure is absolutely useless. It's just kind of a joke item. But um, for the purposes of completion, we'll grab it anyways. All hands to surface stations. Almost. There we go. Alright, that's all the objectives. That's everything worth destroying, and we have our treasure, so let's go. Speed up these rewards. And due to the length of the video, I am going to have to stop it after these rewards are done. So, let's see. Mysterious gun, that's the treasure. And it's not something cool like a laser. I'll show you guys what it is. It sucks. Okay, I'm going to end it right here, and we'll pick up the next episode pretty much right here. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.